Hello everyone, just a few days ago some of the Disney resorts opened up, so today we're gonna try to go over to the beach club and get a No Way Jose. Let's do this thing. All right, so I went over to the uh, beach club and they told me I cannot park there. They told me if I land to go to Disney Springs and take a bus over, so I'm over here on the bus right now. This is the social distancing on the buses, so there's different spots. I can't sit there, but I can sit here. Back at a Disney resort. This is amazing. I'm so excited. I get, I'm really hoping I can get into Beaches and Cream. Get a No Way Jose right now. <laughs> oh my God. It feels so amazing to be back here. Holy cow. I got a little bit of my life back again. Oh, I miss this view. Holy cow, I'm back. I mean, this could be as an idea. There's no one around here either. This is kind of like Disney Springs, but even deader. Kind of crazy. I've seen a total of five people so far. All right, so I walked over here to the boardwalk. I was actually doing a broadcast while doing it. If you guys want to watch that broadcast, uh, there'll be a link someplace on this page. Um, but at the, while walking over here, I saw a total of 13 other people from there to here, which is absolutely insane. And it, listen, there's no music playing which is kind of weird, kind of creepy, and there's no boats out. Um, but at the same time, oh, it feels so amazing to be here again. Like I feel like I'm back to a place that I know so well. Oh, I love it. I love this feeling. There's Epcot right there. It's the closest I've been to a Disney park in 99 days. It's right there. Holy cow. Okay, hopefully the Beach of the Cream window is open here. Cross your fingers. I've been wanting this for three months. Let's eat. Words cannot even describe how happy I am right now. This is the greatest thing in the world. No way Jose's are back in my life. Yes. That was the most normal I have felt since March. That was amazing. That was absolutely unbelievable. I'm gonna go walk around the resort a little bit and then head back home. Hey, back at Springs. Move along. Move along. Hi, 
So real quick, let's talk about the bus situation. So the bus situation, they have you, so there's six different zones, and when you board the bus, they tell you which zone they want you to sit in. This way there's all social distancing is taken care of, you don't have to worry about anything. It was really well done. The only problem I can see with it in the future is when it starts to get busy again, obviously having only six families on each bus or six groups on each bus, and when you have people like me who are parties of one, uh, it, it's gonna, it's, there's gonna be a lot of really ticked off people who are further in the back. So we'll see how it goes. But right now it actually worked really smoothly. Hopefully the world gets back to somewhat normal soon and maybe they can open up a few more zones on those buses because there's a vaccine or whatever and we can kind of, you know, get back to what the buses used to be like, crammed in full of people. Um, but that is gonna conclude our vlog for today. We're getting closer and closer to that 1,000th subscriber. So if you are not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe by pushing this button right down over here. And until next time, we'll see you guys all a little later. Bye-bye.